no matter what our own personal feelings of creation and evolution might be, we still have to deal with one inescapable fact. And that fact is that we have to live with Mother Nature, the universe as it is or has been created, and there's not a whole lot we can do about it. We have to realize that all species of life, the things that we refer to as living, must live off of other species by consuming them or consuming the residue from them. There is no species of life that exists on mineral alone. Once we realize these basics, it becomes possible to consider what we can do to make our existence here on this planet and in this universe more tolerable. But we must work within those guidelines, within those facts, and we cannot simply make up our own theories and hope that they will come to be. It doesn't work that way. Our universe goes by certain physical laws. We do not completely understand all of those physical laws yet, but we do understand enough of them that we have the guidelines to create a happier, more fruitful existence if we will dare to follow them. In actuality, there are really only two things that we can choose to modify. And one is our own thinking, and the other is our behavior based upon that thinking. By utilizing those two available choices, we can affect our own lifestyle and the lifestyle of those around us as well as our own environment. But we cannot get carried away and start looking for pie-in-the-sky answers and abandon the very basics that will help us to improve our lifestyle. Without a realistic sense of direction, our efforts become futile and although we may employ advanced technologies, techniques, methods, we are still fighting against the very principles of our universe. Unless we understand, respect, and accept the rules that are set out so vividly in our life experience and in our research, we must not try to make up unrealistic situations, facts, goals, etc. We must deal with fact. There was a time when philosophy and religion represented the highest pinnacle of thinking in regard to physical law and knowledge. It was only when the practitioners decided that those facts were not good enough and started trying to make up stories and beliefs that were far, far beyond the physics or the facts of our universe that the problems began to arise. When that happened, science and religion parted company, and that was sad. We need to draw people back together to work for a common good and to develop common knowledge and know-how. We must learn to work together. The universe 
is a big and sometimes frightening place. And we are privileged to exist here during a particular span of time. We do not know for how long, but we should know that only by working together with the facts as represented in our universe can we continue to exist as a race, as a species, and live on this planet for an extended period of time?